Hello, I'm Joyce Harper, Professor of Human Genetics and Embryology at University College London. I'm very passionate about training people in the key aspects of clinical embryology. After my PhD, I ran a very busy IVF lab for about five years, and at that time I became very interested in training clinical embryologists. In the early 90s, I joined the Hammersmith Hospital PGD team and worked on PGD for the last 20 years. And in 1996, I set up my first MSc course with George Hanty and Charles Vrodek in prenatal genetics and fetal medicine. And then we set up a second course in 2009, Reproductive Science and Women's Health. And through these two master's programmes, we've trained many people in clinical and laboratory aspects of IVF. In 1996, we also started doing workshops in PGD. And about 18 years ago, I was joined by Alpesh Doshi, who started teaching about uh, embryo biopsy. Alpesh has been very passionate about training globally uh, embryologists um, in IVF technology. We've run our embryo biopsy and PGD workshops at least once a year, normally twice a year, since 1996. And in 2014, Alpesh and I decided to make this more formal and we set up the Embryology and PGD Academy, mainly to run global workshops on IVF and PGD technology. We have got together with Kay Elder. Kay has written a number of textbooks on IVF and also she was in charge of education and workshops at Bourne Hall Clinic. And we've got together and designed a certificate in clinical embryology. And we've brought together both practical and theoretical aspects. So in the UK, the ACE certificate very much concentrated on the practical aspects. And Kay and I were involved with setting up the ESHRA certificate in clinical embryology, which was mainly the theoretical aspects. So we're bringing those together to form three parts to our certificate in clinical embryology. In part one, you have to do a competency log and we will identify a local supervisor Ideally someone in your own laboratory or someone who's nearby who will check your competency right through all the stages of the IVF laboratory. So from egg collection through to egg and embryo freezing and if possible embryo biopsy. And um, that's part one. Part two will be the theoretical knowledge. And we've got together with some of the global educators in IVF. Uh, this includes Embryo Tools and Cortec and Yona Barrick's lab. And together, we are going to help deliver video, short videos which will give you the advanced theoretical information you'll need to really be a clinical embryologist. And there's eight modules, and you can find these on the Embryology and PGD Academy website. And each module will be examined by a multiple choice exam. And again, we're going to hopefully offer this locally, hopefully in your own city, so you don't have to travel too far. So you will watch the videos and then prepare for the exam. You can watch the videos as many times as you like. And you'll see from the website, we've got some of the great world educators in IVF giving these lectures. The third part of the certificate is the exit exam. And this involves three sections. Section one is that we will ask you to write an essay on an aspect of the IVF laboratory. Part two will be a practical exam. Again, we'll hopefully do this in the city that you live in or very close by. And in the practical exam, it's going to be very much like an external quality assessment. We will give you a number of stations that you'll go around and um, do the practical parts that's needed. And the third part of the exit exam is an oral exam. And one of our team will come and give you uh, an oral exam to check that you're competent in IVF technology. So the only prerequisite is that you need to be working in an IVF laboratory to undertake the certificate in clinical embryology. All of this information is on our website, so please visit www.embryologyandpgdacademy.com and there is the registration form there as well. Thank you very much.